Welcome back to Stats and Packs for Monday, September 19th of 2022. All right. Uh, congratulations to the Dodgers. They've won 100 games this year. And who knows if New York, they'll probably hold on to the Yankees, but they're four and a half games ahead of Toronto. And it looks like they're, they're just not playing well right now. So as far as the playoffs, I don't think they'll last very long. But And Albert Pujols only has a couple more home runs to go before he's at 700. I hope he does that, and we're still watching Aaron Judge and all that stuff. But let's get on with the random number, and let's see what we got. We got five, so we're going to do the random number generator five times. All right, we got number one, 2021 Bowman. All right. We're just going to have Rebecca pull a random pack out of there. Got three left. All right, open that up and let's get going. All right. See if some of these uh, prospects and other things will we'll look up minor league stuff too as we go along on some of these things, these cards and check them out. Paul Goldschmidt. Oh, we know he's having a great season. So, Paul Goldschmidt. I don't think he's going to do the Triple Crown, but hey, still having a great season. 521 at bats, 103 runs, 168 hits, 35 home runs, 112 RBIs, 6 home bases, with a good 322 average. I think he stands a good chance at the NL MVP just because of how close he's getting to that. Put him out there. 322, that's one of the top batting averages, home runs also, RBI, yep. Almost triple crown type stuff. Josh Bell. He's now off with the San Diego Padres. Five hundred and eighteen at bats, seventy-four runs, one hundred and forty-two hits. 17 home runs, 68 RBIs, no stolen bases, with a 274 average. Yeah, so having a decent season. And he only has one all-star in his career, so all right, put that to the side. Mookie Betts. He's having a lot better season than he did last year. Of course, the Dodgers are on fire. 512 at bats, 110 runs, 140 hits, 34 home runs, 77 RBIs, 12 stolen bases with a 273 average. His home runs are close to the tops in the NL. I think Kyle Schwarber may still have the lead for that. I haven't looked at the lead leaders, but that's what I remember. Alex Bregman. All right, Alex Bregman. The Astros are playing well. 494 at bats, 87 runs, 132 hits, 21 home runs, 85 RBIs, one stolen base with a 267 average. A little bit down from his 279 career average, but a solid season nonetheless. Jose Abreu. All right. Jose Abreu. All right. 553 at bat, 79 runs, 171 hits, 15 home runs, 71 RBIs, no stolen bases, with a good 309 average. So right now he's kind of an on-base machine. His on-base percentage is 382. 309 average, let's put him up there just because he's batting well. Fernando Tatis Jr. And he has nothing for this year. Of course, we all know what his problem is. He's out till who knows when next year, so... We'll put him off to the side because there's nothing to talk about this year. Talent pipeline. Okay, let's put that up there and see what we got. We have Tristan Cassis, Jaron Duran, and CJ Chatham. And I know Jaron Duran has played, I think he got up to the big leagues this year. All right, let's move on with that one. Cool chrome cards, though. 
Jeter Downs. All right, we're going to look in the minors because I think he's in the minors. Because we're getting to the prospects and all that stuff. Alright, I don't know. He may have some big league stats, but I'm not sure. So, I'm going to see if he has any. Alright. Gear down. Alright. He has limited stats, but we'll look at the minors too. 39 at bats, 4 runs, 6 hits, 1 home run, 4 RBIs, no zone base with a low 154 average. Right, it's so not much there, but in the minors, he is. 284 at bats, 56 runs, 56 hits, 16 home runs, 33 RBIs, 18 zone bases with a low 197 average. Yeah, so not, not good at all, so. Ivan Johnson. Or Yvonne Johnson, whatever it says. Alright, let's see what we can dig up on this guy. Of course, that's his first. Chattanooga Lookouts, double A affiliate of the Cincinnati Reds. 180 at bats, 32 runs, 47 hits, 4 home runs, 25 RBIs, 4 stolen bases with a 261 average. Alright. So he's doing okay down there. It'll take him a little bit longer to get up to the bigs. Dax Fulton. Let's see if he has any MLB stats. Nope. None for him. So we'll get him over here. Dax Fulton. Alright, he is with the Pensacola Blue Wahoos, double A affiliate of the Marlins. He's a pitcher. Six wins, seven losses, 3.8 ERA, 24 games, 23 games started, 118.1 units pitched with 150 strikeouts. So, a decent season, not so good on the wins and losses, but, you know. Aaron Sabato. Alright. Aaron Sabato. Let's see. Let's see if... I don't know if he has any big league stats or not. No MLB stats. He is with... Can't see on that card. Twins. There you go. The Wichita Windsurd, double-A affiliate of the Twins. 372 at best, 63 runs, 80 hits, 22 home runs, 75 RBIs, four stolen bases with a 215 average. Yeah, these uh, prospects here aren't doing very well. Jose Salas. Okay. All right. We'll look, see if he has any, probably not, these prospects on this pack aren't doing so good. Alright. Alright, no MLB stats for him. Down to the minors, says he's with the Marlins also. And he is... Doesn't say where he's at, but for this year in minor league, maybe their minor league season's done. 412 at bats, 69 runs, 103 hits, 9 home runs, 41 RBIs, 33 stolen bases with a 250 average. Looks like he might have been on the jumbo shrimp. He's got a hat that looks like that. So yeah, just kind of producing there. I don't know. It doesn't say on here where he's at, which team. Normally it does, but yeah. That's our stats and packs, and our two best cards were, of course, Paul Goldschmidt. He is having a fantastic season. Borderline Hall of Fame in some people's minds. 
And then Jose Abreu, even though the White Sox were supposed to do some really good stuff this year, they're just kind of struggling. I don't know if they'll make the playoffs. I'm not, I haven't seen, remember seeing where they're at. So, I don't know. <clears throat> With that, that is our stats and packs for... For Monday, please comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll be back on Wednesday with more Opening Day Wednesday. Have a great week, everybody.